Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. This two of cups. And here I see the devil, the high priestess, king of pentacles, eight of cups. I just saw those cards peeking out, but for some of you, you, I don't want to say seven of wands, yeah. seven of wands, yeah. You need to protect something. This is a warning message here that you need to protect something. Somebody is trying to come to you with a plan, an offer, an idea. And they could be rushing towards you. So I'm going to have to clarify either... Either this is good and you're afraid of it because of, of past situations. Yeah, that's, that is what it is. Here's the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. You have something good that's coming towards you. The Knight of Pentacles, everything is fine. Or somebody, or you, but you may feel like somebody is coming towards you acting as everything is fine. And I feel like you're, you're, um, your fear is that you can't trust this situation. You feel like something here is too good to be true. Because it's it's moving. It's in the flow. It's moving. This is stressing you out, but you could be stressed out. Yeah, because you're still carrying a burden from your past. It's leaving you feeling very confused, like you need to hold back. Okay? So, somebody out here, you're dealing with some type of PTSD, from a past betrayal here. And I feel like you're trying to handle yourself as if you have a situation under control. Not saying that you don't have it under control, but beneath the surface, you're still dealing with some type of burden from a situation in the past where you feel like you were taken advantage of or... There was some, there was poor judgment in the past. You feel like you've been tricked before and you're still carrying the burden from that. You're fearful because there's a partnership coming here where someone here who could be respected, a wise person, Something makes you very happy. It's a collaboration of some sort. It makes you very happy. It's something that you want to put work into. But with the Seven of Swords and the Strength card here, you're still holding back. You're like, I don't really know if I should. You still don't feel comfortable with sharing something with a person. And I don't think that you should share everything, of course. But it feels like this is more energy of being triggered and, and the carrying trauma. You're, you're triggered because of a trauma. But there's a, an opportunity being presented to you. An opportunity, it comes off, it seems small to begin with, but it grows into the Ace of Pentacles. But you're, you don't trust it. You feel like, again, the Nine of Pentacles. You feel like somebody is going to come in and make you an offer and then they're going to they're going to leave you. This is what this, you're, you're afraid that somebody's going to come in with an offer or an opportunity and then they're going to leave you to. Um, so you're afraid of a, this is somebody who is struggling with abandonment. The last reading I just picked up on it was dealing with overcoming rejection. Getting past the naysayers. This is a fear of abandonment. Oh my goodness, I don't really want to share my ideas. I don't want to do business with that person. I don't want to go on a date or have this friendship or this relationship because this is too good to be true. The last time I really liked a person or the last time I shared an idea with somebody, they stabbed me in the back. This is, yeah, you're going to have to conquer this fear of rejection and or abandonment because it could possibly be holding you back. Yeah. 
For some of you, it's holding you back from a relationship. Even because the Hierophant is here in the Three of Wands. Or this has to do with your overall just spiritual growth. The Hermit, yeah. So when you find something, something that brings you wish fulfillment, you're you're isolating or secluding yourself. You're like, I'm just gonna hold this to myself with the star card. The hermit and the star. Why are you hiding? You're hiding all of your, your goodness. There's something here that you know it makes you very happy or it can make you very happy, but you're still, you're, you're like in this wounded warrior energy. You're in survival. You're afraid. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, yeah. You got to wake up and see the truth here. That the only thing that is stopping you right now is your fear of being left behind, rejected, or abandoned. You're working on something here. Or Spirit is telling you that you need to work on something Possibly even with another person, with a group, or within a community. And you're choosing not to because all you're constantly thinking about in your mind is what if you get stuck? What if you get trapped? You're thinking all the worst case scenarios before even giving something a chance here. There needs to be some type of divine truth or clarity that you you come to terms with yourself in order for you to move forward. The Seven of Swords is here. It, yeah. Wake up. Hello. This is your wish fulfillment. This is your person. This is your marriage. This is your commitment. This is the new, you know, it's something new for you to celebrate. 11, like four of wands is 11. It's something you're manifesting. You wanted this for a long time. But the page of swords, it's like your, your discernment is off here. Because look at this, you keep looking back. I remember when I got stuck before. I remember the last time I worked with somebody and, you know, they tricked me or whatever the case is. You're not seeing something clearly. You're seeing that if you move forward, you're going to get stuck. You're going to get trapped. You're already looking for some type of exit plan here before you even get started with something. Four swords, yeah. You're afraid that <laughs> if something goes wrong, you're afraid you won't have the strength to heal from it. The moon out here. This is what's hidden beneath the victory, the success, the the rewards, the recognition is the mindset. It's a fear. The devil and the nine of wands of what if I get trapped? This is also a, um, a fear of commitment here. A fear of committing to something because of a fear of losing it. So I don't know if this is abandonment, if this is anxiety issues, abandonment or what. But the devil, the devil is, is just your mind. Tricking you into believing that this success is going to lead to you being wounded. The sun is here. It's not. You're going to be just fine. But you keep on reminding yourself of the strength that it took you to overcome something in order to have a certain level of success. But now you're being... The Empress and the Sun, you're being molded. You you're being pruned. You're being encouraged. You you're being guided now to level up even more. So it's like now I feel like I'm channeling the person where you're thinking to yourself, you have much more to lose now than you did before. If you take the next step and you lose what you have, you feel like you're going to lose everything. But you have the Empress here and the Sun. 
It's like mother and child. Some of you are being, oh, the emperor. And look, the lovers. Wow. Some of you, oh my goodness, the high priest is the fool. Dang. You have here the the fool, the high priest is the empress, the emperor, and the lovers. But then this is a life-changing opportunity. And you're being protected by Archangel Michael. This is this is mother, father, son, and it's a spiritual connection. You have a deep knowing here. So it's like right now you have a very deep knowing that you need to take a leap of faith. Because everything that you've always wished for, that you've desired, your life purpose is literally standing here in front of your face. It's standing right there in front of you. The fool, the high priestess, you have a very deep inner knowing about this. It's, it's your deep inner knowing. It's your truth. This is your soul contract. It's right here staring at you. Literally, the emperor, the empress, and the son together, and the lovers. You guys have a divine purpose here to build, create something. The very first card, the first two cards in this reading was the two of cups, the hierophant, followed by the nine of cups. You're supposed to be working with someone to do something. And this has to do with your life purpose. For a lot of you, this is marriage. It's stability. It's security. It's the death with the death card. Death is transformation. And then the king of swords here. Whatever this transformation is, it's being protected by Archangel Michael. Ace of Cups and the Temperance. Everything is being balanced out perfectly. There's nothing here to fear. You need to walk by faith and not by sight. The two of swords, you're putting your guard up without, and you don't even see what's there. You can't see anything because you're, this is being defensive. Two of swords, you already, you're drawing your sword because you're automatically assuming the worst. When the truth is, is that you have the ace of wands, the two of wands, there's a passion new beginning that all you have to do is make the decision now to accept it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to put your guard up. You don't have to be mean, rude, nasty, scared. You don't have to do anything but say, God, I accept it. That's it. That's it. It's, that's the reading. There's All you have to do is say yes. But you can't see something. And this is the problem here. There's a lack of faith. You are afraid that because you can't see you can't see all of the steps in this process. So you're assuming the worst. You're thinking, well, if I can't see th this um, control, you're afraid of losing control. There's a lack of faith here. When you can't control a situation, you're losing faith. You got to see it to believe it. But how can you really say that you believe in God if, if you don't have blind faith? Whatever this is, the high priestess is here. You know that it's good. You know it or you're dealing with someone. Somebody out here knows that something is perfect. You have the lovers and the temperance. There's nothing but angelic protection. For a lot of you, this is like a... Um, I want to say it could be like a, a, a twin flame union for some of you. You know this is good. It's perfect. It's good and perfect in the eyes of God because you and this person, you're coming together. The two of cups, you're both coming together with, with clean and pure hearts. Also with creative endeavors of your own. You and this person both, this is a very like godly couple because the terms I'm hearing is like with the hierophant here. Um, you and this person both have a testimony. You both could share your testimony at some point and, and it could um, be very inspiring to a lot of people. So this connection, this partnership, it carries great purpose. It's the type of purpose that will, yeah, and it's work. 
it's it's work that is fulfilling though the nine of cups you you take pride in doing this work you and this person both you enjoy what you do now for work or you will enjoy what you do for whether you work together or separately it's because you and someone both are gonna be in your purpose divine there's divine alignment and purpose here you don't have to work with this person, but whatever you do, you love it. Whatever they do, they love it. Because it's, it's according to God's will for your lives. But for you to come together, it's like God is truly going to get the glory from this relationship. But someone here, either you or another person, is skeptical about this. Eight of Wands, it's moving forward. You you really can't block this situation even if you wanted to. It's like you're trying to block it because for some of you, something is moving fast. You want it to slow down. You want it to slow down until, until you see a problem. You're looking for a problem. You want this. You're like, no, it's moving too fast. I, I'm, you're trying to see a way to... to this is self-sabotage. It's, it's a lot here. It's anxiety, it's fear, it's self-sabotage, it's control issues, it's the devil <laughs> playing on your mind. The Page of Cups. Child. You have the Page of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. What else can you say? This person will do anything with you and or for you. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, again, you and this person both, you have security and stability on your own. You're not looking for anything. A lot of you right now, you're holding on to, I'm stable, I'm secure. I don't have to worry about anything or anybody. Now you have a person who wants to come into your life and they want to build. They want to protect. They want to provide. They want to build. They want to, you know, <laughs> just do all these amazing things. And this person, obviously, they want to do something with you with business. They may want to at some point be combining finances like they're really here to build but you have to walk away from fear open up your heart and actually embrace this journey but what is constantly lingering is oh my goodness what if i get left out in the cold what if my heart is broken ten of swords you feel like if you're if you get your heart broken by collaborating or working with this person oh my goodness what are you gonna do That's not this person's intentions. You see, all the, there's no bad cards out here. This right here is what's lingering in your mind. And Spirit is saying you need to walk away from it. Eight of Cups. Walk away from the fear and the anxiety of you being left out in the cold. You being cheated on, heartbroken, de deceived and, and backstabbed and betrayed. You need to walk away from that. And actually allow your heart to be open. Some of you, you need to allow your heart to be open to the possibility of you working and collaborating with somebody. This energy has been coming out a lot for some of you through a collaboration. You're going to like find the love of your life or something. And it may not even be this person. You could be working with someone that introduces you to someone who is going to be very good for you, for your life purpose. You're going to meet a person in your purpose, doing something that you love, or like I said, you and this person, I, for some of you, you may work with them, you may not, but by you being the best version of yourself, you're going to become a vibrational match for this very positive opportunity in your life. It's like the perfect opportunity, but again, this fear of history repeating itself. You have this fear of someone getting over on you. Two of Pentacles. The world, yeah. It's time for you to kind of get off this seesaw of it's like this up and down. Some of you, you need to temper yourself. You're up and down emotionally. You're up and down. Do you want to give? Do you want to receive? Do you want to give? Do you want to take? You're you're um there's a, a issue with balancing things here. 
with the two of pentacles and the world. The Knight of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody, justice, somebody has made the decision that they want to come towards you to celebrate. And look, you're like, no. You're putting your guard up, but if you would allow this sudden rapid change to occur, it's going to be the manifestation of the Ten of Cups. This person is coming towards you. They're drawn to your loving, caring, kind nature. They love it. They're impressed. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Queen and King of Cups. They're very impressed. They want to have equal give and take with you. This person is coming at you like hard. They, they're like, yeah, they don't mind doing this person. They trust you. They will write contracts, deals, marriage. They trust you. They see good in you. This for some of you as a king of wands, this person, you're you're afraid because this is someone who is very assertive. They're taking action. A lot of you, and let's be honest here, let's just talk about it for a moment. Because this is definitely like twin flame soulmate kind of energy. Most people are so accustomed to toxic relationships. Everybody has this fantasy person in their in their head. You know, oh, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, either somebody that you've been separated from forever that you don't have any real physical contact or communication with, or just this person that you keep um, manifesting in your head that is it's crazy because when the real per when the real deal shows up in your reality, most people you're afraid of it. When the person comes to you that is in this energy of uh, they have a deep knowing, they're very intuitive, they're being led by by God, by the Holy Spirit, they're tapped in with their their higher self. They understand that they want marriage, they want commitment, they want business, they want legacy. You'll look at that person, you're like, oh no, I can't trust that. However, you will continuously stay in a cycle with a person that you know you cannot trust. Let's make it make sense. Some of you have like the real deal here either in your life or coming towards you and you're scared of it. Like you're running. This is like now the, the chaser has become the runner. The runner has become the chaser. Some of you have, have been the runner for so long that now somebody is chasing you and, and you're you're running. <laughs> I'm sorry, you've been the chaser and now you're running. This person is coming in and, and they're serious. They're fair. They're just. They want to celebrate and th there's definitely a feminine energy. Out here. You're putting your guards up. You're trying to be very logical now instead of trusting your heart. This is someone who is very much enamored and drawn to you, though, because of your heart, your kindness, your intuitive nature. Now, you're trying to shapeshift energetically to be the Queen of Swords instead of the Queen of Cups because you feel like there's some type of energy of um, chaos or conflict that's going to come to this situation when in actuality, the chaos and the conflict that you are experiencing is simply the universe is tearing down everything that is blocking you from manifesting this happiness with this particular person or with this opportunity. Some of you need to start understanding that some of the rejection around you is here to protect you. You have to know the difference between the devil using rejection to play on your mind so that you will self-sabotage and what God is coming in and destroying all the things around you to protect you and to align you with what is actually good for you. It feels like for some out here, this chaos and conflict, you're looking at it and you're not seeing something clearly here. Some of you, you know that there's a presence of chaos, conflict, jealousy, envy, corruption, or whatever, and you're trying to move on to peaceful, calmer waters, but you have to be careful. Some of you, it, it's almost like you're in the danger zone of walking away from something that is good for you because you've been so conditioned to trust. This is, I've talked about this before, being in love with your pain because a lot of people will stay in the cycle of pain because you know how to control your own pain. It's just like a person who has migraines. You know the medications that work for that migraine. You know the weather conditions, the foods and everything else that causes you to have that migraine so you know how to treat it. 
But then when you get a tummy ache, you don't know what to do. So you much rather deal with a migraine that's nearly debilitating than a, just a, a mild tummy ache because you're used to treating the migraine. You're used to treating the pain from the counterfeit. So when the real deal comes, the soulmate, the twin flame that comes around that is a, of a higher vibration and they challenge you, you don't want to take on that challenge because that's different. And that, that means that you have to get out of your comfort zone. No, this is good things require you to get out of your comfort zone too. And somebody is, is looking at something great and you're like, no, I don't want that. Because you are, you feel like great means easy. No. There's a learning curve with everything. This is everything that someone has, has, has been hoping, wishing, and praying for. And there's nothing here but self-sabotage energy. So I would encourage you to tap in with your higher self for sure and re recognize that you are, wow, rejection and self-love, cutting the deck. You're worthy. You're worthy of something good here. But you need to, to overcome your fear of rejection because the fear of rejection or abandonment here is causing you some type of anxiety that's leading to self-sabotage energy. say really <laughs> no a few of these cards yeah sadness there is some sadness here possibly over other rejection that you've experienced in your life in career your finances with friends family especially with lovers some kind of disappointment or regret that you have if you don't overcome that what's going to happen is you're going to you're actually going to sabotage something really great here you're looking for something meaningful and it's being presented to you. It's in alignment with your higher, your purpose. Wait, there's a card that flipped over in here. Oh my gosh, you got, look, I can't make it up. The marriage card flipped over. Your marriage brought, have, holds great purpose. You're attracting a long-term partner. You have a reconciliation. Reconciliation doesn't mean that you're necessarily reconciling with a person from your past, especially not someone toxic from your past that we may want to consider as a counterfeit. Let's let's talk about it. reconciliation for some of you. Yeah, you absolutely could be reconciling with with an ex. Some of you could even be choosing to remarry a person. But this is you understanding that now in order for you to attract a long term partner, you're going to have to do things differently than the way you did before. When people reconcile, that means that you are making an agreement that we're going to do better than we did the first time. And that could be with a brand new person. You could be meeting somebody new and, and, and this is the opportunity to say, you know what? That fear of rejection that I had in previous relationships, I need to remove that in order to embrace this healthy connection. You have fair boundaries, the devil, the alien, and rebuilding. Some of you need to put up boundaries with something that is dark. It is toxic. It's an obsessive type of thought or you're codependent or um, it, it's your shadow self here. You're rebuilding now with, <laughs> you have your alien. You may be feeling alienated in life, but the alien also, this card says new experiences in life, dealings with a foreigner. Feeling like you don't fit in, feeling alienated in life. So for some of you, something that's coming towards you, it seems foreign because it's so different. But this is you now rebuilding your life after some type of loss, after rejection, after disappointment and regret. And somebody now is determined. Somebody is very driven. They're determined. You have your pink diamond and birth. This one here is marriage. It's kids. It's family. Here you have the emperor, the empress, and the son. Here's the emperor, the empress, and the son with the lovers here. 
and the death card. This is a life-changing offer or opportunity. And then you have here rebuilding the pink diamond and the birth card. This literally is that same offer opportunity. The oracles are clarifying and confirming. Somebody wants, there's a person that wants to come in or they're already in your life that wants to marry you. They want to have the birth of a long-term commitment. For some, like I said, this could be someone from the past, okay? But there's a karmic cycle here that is over, relocation. You're also moving into a new timeline. Some of you may be relocating with this person, or you could be dealing with a person who they could um, be from a different place. They could be new to your area. You could be new to their area. Someone out here could um, have a different culture or background. They could be foreign. Somebody could be could have relocated or will relocate for work. Or this may be the type of connection where the two of you have to travel a lot. It could be a long distance relationship. There's patience needed here. Yeah. You have mountain. Somebody is going to have to be patient or you and this person have to be patient with one another. Because you're still dealing with obstacles and challenges from a karmic cycle. And there's some kind of pent up anger here. You feel like you've been wronged in some way. Because of things that happen in a karmic cycle. This is causing obstacles and challenges though. Now in a connection. Or if this is you connected with someone from your past. If you're going to be together, you're going to have to completely let everything from the past go if you're going to rebuild with someone. I mean, you have rebuilding and reconciliation out here. Again, this could be a past person or this could be someone fairly new. So for some of you, remember I said you and another person could, somebody here could be moving for work. So for, for some of you, one of you could be corporate and the other person could be um, like an entrepreneur. You could meet someone where they're, they just move to an area or something like that, or you relocated for work, but you have the online card and you could meet a person online, or you could be a person that has like an online presence. You could be, you could have a, a platform or of some sort or whatever. But there's some type of ending or transformation that's coming. Something here is happening in divine timing. There's a waiting game here. Yeah, and the snake card is here. There's old skin being shed here. So for some of you, you could be dating a person or you will be dating a person. It feels like when you and this person come together or when you came together, I don't know exactly the timing of your situation. Someone was coming out of a cycle where they were rebuilding their life. Somebody could be rebuilding their life, relocating after dealing with something very toxic. They could have been in a, you know, an unhappy, toxic, like long-term relationship or even a marriage. There could be a need to be patient in a situation because someone is trying to overcome some type of pent up anger because they feel like they've been wronged in a situation. Overcoming this type of heartbreak, pain, or unresolved trauma could be causing a bit of an obstacle or for some of you, you could have even been with a person and the two of you have separated because when you met, it just wasn't time. It wasn't time because you and or that person were coming out of something and you had not fully healed. It feels like something is coming back around. For some of you, this is someone that you know. But when you met, it was like right person, and, but it felt like the wrong timing because you were wrapping up a karmic cycle. This situation is being represented to you, though, because this is truly your person. But there's, there's a lot of different um, challenges here. Challenges you and this person could be facing challenges, like I said, with with travel, relocation, work, starting a business. Somebody could have lost a business. 
um someone could have gone through a divorce like you know we're adults here let's let's be very honest this is not all rainbows butterflies marvin gay lingerie like people have real life situations and it doesn't mean that they're a bad person just because you meet a person and they're coming out of something that's life you're always you're either coming out of something or you're going into something there's always endings and new beginnings Some of you, you could be dealing with a person and they're coming back around and they really, really want to have something very beautiful with you, but you feel as though they wronged you before because they rejected you. Somebody could have rejected, you felt rejected because maybe someone had to relocate or travel. Somebody literally could have moved to a different country or, or went to school or had to travel abroad or something like that. Somebody could have... Um, join like the military or something. something here has torn two people apart it had nothing to do with like a rejection because of who you are or your character you're feeling that way because of a rejection wound that i don't feel like this person caused you've been rejected by someone else or something else now someone is coming in and because life happened you feel rejected by them that's not the case and let me tell you i don't feel like it's a problem for a person to in some ways reject a person for their purpose because if it's if you're meant to be with someone you're going to be with them but you should want them at their absolute best and you should want to be at your best So that means that you need to improve your life or whatever. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't hold it against the person. I'm gonna pull a few of these love oracles and see what's the last messages here. I just looked over at another deck though, and I see the two of cups and the six of pentacles. Somebody really wants to have equal give and take with you. This is no mess. It's no fluff. It's like somebody is serious, but it's just the, the divine timing is here. Someone could be coming in now saying that they want an actual courtship. They want to, to date you. They want a courtship with you. Maybe before they weren't able to do that because they just weren't in the right headspace or there was distance or financial issues or whatever the case. Something just was not aligned before. And this person, you and this person, you could have rejected each other, but it was because... It feels like somebody knew the potential of what a situation could have been. And they were like, no, I'm not, you know, I'm going to protect you. Wow, true love, see? You have regret. Someone feels regret or remorse for the way that they treated you. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you to let go. So I feel like this person that's very regretful of how they treated you, for some of you, this is another person. I'm picking up more than one like energy out here. For some of you, you have true love here and then you still, you have regret for how someone treated you or how you treated someone or how you allowed a person to treat you. It's time for you to release that though because you have true love here now. Yeah, just take time to get to know each other. There's abundance here. Yeah, some of you have not fully gotten over how someone treated you in the past. But there's exciting news with this true love. This person that wants like this sacred union with you is real. Soulmate, yeah. <laughs> the person you are inquiring about is your soulmate. The sense of familiarity and comfort you feel is confirmation. This person is very attracted to you. Yeah, they're attracted to your higher self and you have your reconciliation. This feels like for some of you, you have more than one person. That want, there's a past person that wants to reconcile with you and someone that you actually would be interested in who wants to reconcile with you. Some of you, your person is someone that you, you know, that you've met, you've crossed paths with them, you've possibly been with them, in some way, yeah. Yeah, somebody wants to communicate, though, that they are ready for love. And somebody else wants to communicate that they, they know they missed a chance with you. Someone could have missed a chance with you because they, they could have um, 
married someone else, had children with someone else. Now there's, there's a blockage or an obstacle between the two of you. But this situation, it prepared you to go on to a spiritual awakening. And now you are attracting someone that's communicating that they are actually in love with you. You're attracting your, your actual equal, your counterpart. So the storyline that I'm getting for the majority of you, this is not everyone's story. Some of you right now, your actual counterpart is here. They're, they're in your energy. They could be in your vicinity. They could, you could be with them. You're needing to completely release the rejection from this person from the past. Some of you were rejected by a person. They have married or had kids with someone else or whatever the case may be. They could be going through a spiritual awakening and maybe they are sending signals out to you where you feel like they miss you or they want to communicate with you. But you have someone here who is willing to put in the work. Don't allow yourself to be confused. Timing issues here. Yeah. Sometimes it says it says sometimes it can be the right person, but but the wrong time. Timing is essential here. Be patient and see what unfolds. Yeah. And checkpoint. See, some of you right now, it's you and a person, something was happening in their life or in your life. There was some kind of unexpected news that came about. But this person, they're your peace of mind, or you give them peace of mind. I just saw the Divergent Dreams card. Yeah, some of you, you and a person, you had to be, wow, Divergent Dreams and Divine Flame. You were separated because of, I don't know, work, career, finances, family issues, or whatever. This says opposing career aspirations or dreams may be pulling you and your person in opposite directions. This may require a heart-to-heart -heart conversation on how this affects the connection. But this is your Divine Flame. This person may be a twin flame or someone you have an intense soul connection with currently. The flames within your souls allow you both to explore this connection. You are this person's peace of mind. But the two of you may be coming together now and saying, so what do we do now? Because you could be going through this right now. When you and someone, you may have to separate. Either you've gone through a separation or you're about to experience a separation from your actual twin flame. Wow. But it's a seasoned love. This card says, this kind of love has endured the ups and downs that come with life. With this person, you know that you can get through anything. So it doesn't matter about distance, time, or whatever. You and this person, you can get through this. So I don't know. Somebody could be, like I said, traveling. Um... I saw that online card and relocation. So someone could definitely be um, relocating for work. Someone could, um, I'm getting a lot of very specific things. You know your situation. Somebody could be needing to go to a different city to open up a, a business, like a brick and mortar, like storefront business. Someone could have had the type of job for a long time where they were working remotely and now it's required for them to return to the office. Someone could be experiencing like a job promotion where they are working remotely, but um, I don't know, this is very specific. And I'm hearing it. Someone may have to do like a, a one week on, one week off type situation, like with their job where they have to be in the office one week. It, it's like a remote job or something but someone has to go to a home office that's in a different state for some of you someone may even have to travel to a different there's travel that's about to affect someone's connection but you and this person you're each other's divine flame you're you're each other's peace of mind this you and this person both are very mature and you know that this is what you have to do at this time but I feel like for some of you, the reason why this scares you is because you've probably went through something very similar in the past with someone and they left you behind. You know, a lot of people, young love, you know, 
you go off to college or after high school, the person that you think is the love of your life, <laughs> you have to separate, go to different schools or move to different states or whatever. And you, some people, they don't get over that. And so now it's like when you and a person comes together in a seasoned, mature type of relationship and those changes come about, you have to learn to address the current situation and not allow your past situation to weigh so heavily on something that's happening in your life now because you will bring the the baggage of that past situation into something that like new that's fresh and again you can ruin it this person for some of you that you're with or that you're attracting they're not trying to leave you they just are the type of person they're a go-getter just like you they feel like if they're going to better themselves, then it's going to be better for the both of you. They they don't mean any harm, but you're going to have to let go of this pent-up anger that, that you have inside related to something from your past that's causing you to push away a new opportunity. You just need to, I would say, just go for it. Some of you, yeah, you're dating somebody right now. 